Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Laguna Blue from Monster High. And I'm making her into a stylized version of Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. So in the past I've made some Sally dolls and some Corpse Bride dolls from uh, Tim Burton's movies. And they were always sort of at the higher end because of the time it took to make the costume mainly. And just the overall detail that I put into the pieces but this particular one I decided to make a little bit more of a simple costume and hairstyle so I can sell it at a uh, more of a price point that of my dolls where they're usually at kind of my base point so at the time I'm making this video the corpse red that I made in this style has sold but the Sally is still available and you can find that in the description box below by clicking on the link to my Etsy shop after I did the face up on her, I gave her some tattoos. I gave her a cute little Jack on one side of her arm and then on the other side, I love Jack tattoo. And then on her stomach, I did a little zero from the movie. It's a little, the little ghost dog. So I had a lot of fun doing the tattoos and her costume I made was about three or uh, three different colors of vinyl to match her overall coloring. And just to let you guys know, in my previous one of my previous videos, I asked you guys if you wanted to see more of the costume construction and the, and the hair, and I got kind of an overwhelming response and so many sweet comments, so thank you so much. And I will be recording more of the process since that's something that everyone wants to see. So I have a couple of videos that I've already recorded, but in the, uh, a few that I've started to record more are coming up soon. So after a few different a few coats of Mr. Super Clear and adding the eye shape, I decided to make her eyes sort of half closed so I could do some interesting things with the eyeshadow. I went in with some pink and like a magenta color and a, a turquoise mix from Pan Pastel. You can kind of see over there on the right where I mixed some green and white to make more of a turquoise color and then gave her like a yellow highlight and I did this all with pan pastels and the small round brush that I cut down into sort of a stencil brush to blend it in. Then I'm blending that out with some white Derwent watercolor pencil and then I went back in with her at her crease to darken that up with black but then blended it out with this metallic green Derwent watercolor pencil from the metallic set. All of the supplies that I've used in this video are listed in the description box below along with affiliate links. So if you're going to purchase something on Amazon and click on those affiliate links, I will get a small portion of the commission for those. So your support there is greatly appreciated. So going back with that same blend of a turquoise green, I'm blending that around her uh, hairline and then around the nose, eyebrow area and under the nose and her filtrum area and then and a little bit on the chin. I'm using some colorless blender from Pan Pastel and blending that out with a Q-tip. This just gives some dimension to the face and also adds the coloring of Sally to give it more of a look of her character. So I always like to do something different with Lag Laguna's face up because she's probably one of my very favorites to customize. I love her big round eyes and her interesting lip shape. So I gave her sort of an extended Cupid's bow on this one. I'm really happy with how that turned out. I like the, I just really like her face ups when I do the face ups for her because I just like the face sculpt more than a lot of the others. So someone in the comments section mentioned the that they would like to see more of the uh, tear duct area or the bottom lash line detail. And I apologize for not recording that as often in, in, in much detail and that's because I have to get very close uh, to see what I'm doing because I make such very small lines there 
Um, to make that more realistic, it's really about the line weight. So I make sure that I'm using a very, a very, very uh, fine tip pencil. So I've sharpened it very uh, sharp. And it's usually a Faber-Castell from, or Faber-Castell Aquarelle because it has the harder lead. So I can keep a point on that easier. And it's really a matter of very, very thin line down there. So I kind of will start with the, the water line coming from the inner corner and then it'll I'll thin it down to a very fine line at the very bottom. And then I, I thicken it up at the outer corners. So I'll try to do a demonstration of that in a later video. It's just very difficult for me to record that. I either end up um, getting my hair in the way or uh, just not recording it at all because I just need the need to focus. <laughs> but like I said, I'll try to demonstrate that a little bit better in future videos. So I decided to do a green, sort of a turquoise green eye color. And I'm using a turquoise Derwent watercolor pencil there, but then I later go in with the Derwent metallic to give it a pop of color. Those lighter watercolor pencils, the like a very there's a very baby blue and a in that very light aqua, and I just love those colors, but they are very difficult to to get to show up. So to give it a pop of color, I went back with that metallic green from the Derwent Metallics pack. I love those metallics. And there I'm using a Caran uh, Museum Aquarelle Gold to give the highlight. And then I just keep going in with layers of color and little lines and blending to give the detail. and adding the pupil. Then I'll go back in with the Faber-Castell Aqua Grip and do the bottom lash line, or the lashes. And then once I'm happy with the look, I'll seal it about four or five times with Mr. Super Clear UV Flat and give her some Liquitex Gloss Varnish on the eyes and sometimes the lips, but I don't believe I did the lips on this one. And then I'll give some eye, give her some eyelashes, some uh, adhere some eyelashes. Like I said, I did some body tattoos, and the photos are here at the end for some more detail on the look. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.